money from a 2009 open space bond issue runs out this year. Senator Bob Smith, a Democrat, has offered three suggestions for continuing the program, a water tax, another bond issue, and a bill that fell short yesterday, putting a constitutional amendment on the November ballot, dedicating $200 million a year for the next 30 years out of existing sales tax revenue. Senate President Steve Sweeney called his members in yesterday for that alone. It fell two votes short of the needed three-fifths majority, despite Sweeney's taking the unusual step of leaving the vote board open for 10 hours. Uh, that's very uncommon. That doesn't happen. Senator Jennifer Beck, a Republican, says the bill is fiscally irresponsible and was never vetted in committee. In the time when we are funding our pension at the highest level ever and soon to be $5 billion, and we have a transportation trust fund that needs dollars, and we have schools that have requirements and Medicaid and on and on, um, this just was not thought through. I would argue to you that it's fiscally irresponsible not to do it. Smith says open space is good for tourism, for protecting the clean water that attracts industry, and because the funding can be used to buy up flood-prone homes. If we don't get people and property out of harm's way, you think Sandy was the, the last time we're going to have a storm like that? Smith says Senate Democrats were prepared to fly in two members from vacation yesterday, but were told by Assembly Democrats they would not post the bill. He also blames the Senate Republicans for bowing to pressure from the governor's office. In the case of the Republican members of the Senate, they were there. They voted 36 to 2 for a more expansive open space measure three weeks ago. They live in terror of this governor. Every time Bob Smith fails, he looks for someone else to blame. And that's getting kind of old now because he's failing on a bunch of stuff. And it's never Bob Smith's fault. It's kind of interesting to listen to him. It's always somebody else's fault. It's the Assembly Democrats' fault. It's my fault. It's Bob Smith's fault because he's no leader. Smith says when Christie can't win an argument, he attacks, and that the governor is simply wrong on the issue. My guess is that this has more to do with presidential ambitions than with the, the good policy for the state of New Jersey. It makes Christie look more like a fiscal hawk, Smith says, and keeps a question off this November's ballot that might bring out more Democrats. For NJ Today, I'm Michael Aaron.